Hello everyone, I'm Simone and I'm an intern working at Bush Heritage and I wanted to highlight how science is helping us deal with the challenge of mitigating the impacts of invasive plants. The spread of invasive plants around the world is drastically changing our world's ecosystems and impairing how these ecosystems are functioning. This ultimately reduces the beneficial ecosystem services that we're receiving from the environment but science is helping us better understand how plant invasions are altering ecosystems, as well as helping us develop ways that we can actually manage these degrading species and protect and conserve our threatened ecosystems. Hello, happy Science Week. This is Anka, ecologist of Craven's Peak and Ethabooka Reserves. I just spent a few days on Ethabooka and uh, what I would like to show you in terms of solution that science has um, for the challenges that we face in the future. You all probably know that demand for meat is increasing, but the even more important thing is that we have areas free of livestock. So we have some refuge areas and I have the Ethabooka refuge sign in the back here. And you can see the, um, the um, beautiful ungrazed country that's now been grazing free for about one and a half decades. So that's Ethabooka behind me. I'll just uh, take you around a little bit. And when I'll turn around, I'm right here at the gate, you can actually see the trampled, uh, still grazed country uh, behind me. So a while ago, Ethabooka would have probably looked the same way. What's very important is that we um, keep monitoring these reserves and um, that we, uh, yeah, protect species by creating these grazing fuel refuges. So the challenge I have decided to speak about is the impacts of climate change on landscape resilience. And I think uh, we have quite a good idea of some really meaningful and practical strategies to address some of the issues associated with this, such as, you know, identifying and conserving pockets of habitat in the landscape that are gonna be significant refuges from climate change impacts in the future, or, you know, conserving uh, significant habitat corridors that will facilitate species migration as the climate changes, and even using knowledge about the adaptive capacities of species based on their genetics and using that to inform how we restore landscapes in the future. Hi, Gary MacDonald. I'm a research volunteer working in the Central Victorian Reserve at Nardo Hills. Our challenge there is eucalyptus dieback of a couple of key species, eucalyptus species in the reserve. We're using science to guide us to regions in, in Australia where these same species are, are, are growing reasonably effectively in the face of much hotter and drier climates and reintroducing seeds and, and the genotypes back into local populations to uh, help improve the resilience of them.